right, so yeah, I went out and I went to um I went to the store and got some groceries. It's been a while. One of my uh, I mean so my son's dad was supposed to come over yesterday and get me some and take me to the grocery store, but I guess he didn't wind up making it. And I felt, you know, I mean, I kind of expected it because I don't, um, I don't really expect too much from nobody anymore. So when they say they're going to do something, I just chalk it up as a loss right then and there. And that's probably my problem. I chalk it up as a loss because I already know not to rely on nobody anymore. For real, honestly. And I knew eventually I was going to have to get up and go anyway. But um, i just been going through a lot. And today I finally, well, last night I finally worked up the nerve to go. I've been actually been up all night last night. I was up, um, I was up all the way until like, I think four o'clock in the morning. And I finally got some rest. But I'm like, if I if I get, I know if I get up, if I don't give up, if I don't get up, then it's gonna be an issue. You know, I'm not gonna get it done. I already knew that. Like, I'm not gonna work up no nerve to get it done. It's not gonna get done if I don't get up now. So, yeah. That's crazy. Um, one of my friends yesterday, well, one of a uh, guy that I used to talk to, he said he was gonna take me to the grocery store. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying. I'm so used to people saying they're gonna do stuff and they don't do it. So he said he was gonna take me. Um, I said eventually, that's the thing. With him, I didn't actually, um, I didn't, you know, I said eventually we can because, like I said, I was feeling some, I was feeling really, um, sick and unwell all week. So, when he said it, I kind of was skeptical because, like I said, I'm trying to, I'm supposed to be working things out with my um, son's dad. So I felt like really, really guilty. Like I had a guilty conscience about accepting his offer. Um, so I really felt bad, you know, and I kind of knew that wasn't going to happen just because of me. Sometimes I say things just because I feel hopeful about the situation a little bit and I, that's a bad habit <laughs> that's a bad habit it's a real bad habit you know because i really want to work on um not having you know um not having um a backup plan to like if something goes wrong and that's the thing i don't it's just i really actually like that guy you know i liked him a lot and the fact that um i just been dealing with a lot of people playing with my heart playing with my mind playing with my time and i just got over it. and i'm like well if anybody gonna benefit out of the situation it's gonna be my son i'm gonna ch chalk it up as a loss with y'all and I'm going to do what's going to benefit my son. If I'm not benefit benefiting from the situation, my son going to benefit. If his son want to if his son if his dad want to be around and he wants to be a part of our life, I'm not benefit I'm not benefiting none at all. I'm not benefiting. You know? So, I'm going to let he going to benefit. I'm not getting nothing out of the situation but a broken heart, a lost mind, and time wasted, you know? It's been plenty of times where I was on my stuff. I was about to, I was, um, at the time when I met that guy, I was, um, I was about to get a job. You know, I was, 
waiting on a call back from a child care facility because I used to be a um, daycare teacher. I used to be a, a um, I used to be a daycare teacher. I used to be a cleaner. Like I worked for, um, I was a day porter for cleaning jobs. I was a cleaning technician. I was a home health aide. So with all my experience, I expected to get that job, but I didn't. And I feel like a lot of people come into your life to disrupt what you got going on, you know, disrupt your progress. You can be so far ahead, but as soon as you lose focus or something, then stuff starts going left. I mean, starts going, yeah, stuff, yeah, stuff starts going right when it's supposed to go left, or your straight path becomes, you know, an intersection. <laughs> you can put it that way. You know, you're going down a straight road, and then you go to a, you hit an intersection that's like, you know, now you distracted. So. Yeah, that's how it's been, and I never heard back from the job. I guess because I lost focus, or like I like I told my son's father, or no, as I explained to him because he actually asked me about the job because that was the time I was work I was um talking to him. So I asked him. Well, he asked me, and I was like, well. I didn't get the job. Um, they told me they was gonna call me and never they never did. Um they I did all this stuff. I did the background, I did drug tests, I did everything, and I never heard from them. And that kind of sent me down into a depression because I really got my hopes up. And my son, you know, as a single mother. I'm trying my best to support, and if I'm not getting, I'm, I'm not even being met halfway, honestly, and it's really, it's really stressful, because I really want to do what I, all I have to do, I want to try my best, and if you're not getting the opportunity, or you're not getting that um, helping hand that you need, they're not even trying to work with you at all, it's stressful, it's like really, really stressful. And it's only so much, like I told, I kept telling them, like, it's only so much I can do. I, I try, I applied to jobs. I did this. I did that. I did everything that I could, you know, and my previous time, um, my pre previously applying for jobs, you know, it was, it was always, they will call you back and tell you if you didn't get the job. They did not call me back at all. And I'm just wondering, like, you know, I wasn't even wondering. I just took it as a loss because it ain't the first time that I, I've i dealt with that. I've dealt with that before. And I'm getting no luck with, you know, working. So right now I'm a stay-at-home mom and I'm getting, you know, some support here and there. And my son's dad is helping me out. So... You know, I worked, so um, I'm getting all that I need right now. I mean, all that I can. I worked previously, so I'm living off of that. But eventually, I would like to get back into the workforce whenever I can. When stuff like that happens, I'm sorry. It's hard to go back out there and try again. You really don't want to, honestly. Because you're scared that it's going to happen again. Hmm. <sighs>
Ain't none of this cheese make it to the top of my salad. <laughs> I mean, um, nothing mixed up. The only thing that this is missing, honestly, is eggs. I love me some eggs, but it gotta have something. Like I was, I was bragging about the salad to somebody, and they was like, um, they was like, well, I was telling them, I was like, I don't like salad if it ain't got meat. I don't like salad if it ain't got eggs. And well, I said. My salad got to have either meat, eggs, or some chips. Like, I recently got hit to the, like, the, the hot chips in, this, in the salad. It got to have those three things separately. That's the only way I'm going to eat them. Um, if they don't have, well, and then he asked me, he was like, well, what if I make it with all of that? I'm like, that's like the icing on the, on the cake. I'm going to tear it up. Because <laughs> I never used to like salad when I was younger. I think the only reason I didn't like salad was because my mom ate salad. She ate it a lot. She always ate some salad. That's her. That was her favorite. It's not just because she didn't like it. I mean, she, um, she liked it, but I guess because of all the green and stuff. I just, I, I don't think I liked her type of salad. Because when I got like when I started getting like I was like probably in the eighth grade or seventh grade or something, and we went to Chipotle. And then I was like, I started get, I started getting hip. I'm like, okay, it's good. And then, but I, it still wasn't like, I still, um, it wasn't my go to after that though. But recently, like, I can't eat salad like every day, all day. If it was my only meal, the only meal I had to go to on this planet, I probably would, I would do it. If it got these three things in it, if it don't got these three things in it, I ain't touching it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I ain't touching it. I was just about to say, um, well, if it got this, then maybe, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say that. Those three things specifically. Ain't no and, ifs, or buts about it. All right, I'm going to let y'all go, and I'm going to finish my salad, because <laughs> it's so good. But I'm going to let y'all go, and I will talk to y'all soon about anything else that happens. I wish I had some more sauce. Oh, I need more sauce. No.
I ain't telling y'all the name of my salad. That's for me to know and you to go find out.